Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Holzman of Millennium Laser Eye Centers, now a TLC Laser Eye Center partner, and I'd like to thank you for choosing us for your laser vision correction procedure. I'm in my surgical scrubs because I'm about to do another eye procedure, and I'd like to invite you along as I prepare our next patient for the surgery. At this point, you should have a Millennium folder in front of you that contains all of our paperwork. This is important as I'm about to go over our pre-procedure guidelines and you need to follow the folder along. If you don't have the folder, please pause this video now and get yours or a copy from our staff if you are watching in our office. I'm going to go over our pre-procedure guidelines first, so please pull out the pre-procedural instruction sheet and follow along. One very important item to consider is that you should have already been out of your soft contact lenses for at least two weeks prior to this examination. You will also need to remain out of these contact lenses for at least three days prior to your procedure. Rigid gas permeable contact lenses take much longer for your eyes to stabilize, and a minimum of four weeks is required prior to this examination if you wear those kinds of contacts. If these guidelines have not been met, please pause this video now and notify our office. All patients will receive three preoperative medications to use. The first is an ointment to be applied to the eye just inside of the lower eyelid at bedtime. This starts one week prior to surgery and is called Miro 128 ophthalmic ointment. The pharmacist should carry this as an over-the-counter medication. You will not be using this after the procedure, just prior to it. One day prior to your surgery, you will begin two different kinds of eye drops, Vigamox four times a day and Zybrom two times a day. They will assist in your healing and comfort. These two drops will also be used postoperatively. Some patients who are found to have a significant dry eye syndrome will also be prescribed an eye drop called Restasis preoperatively. This is to be used twice daily the day you receive the prescription, and then will continue this for at least two to three months post-op. You will stop this medication on the surgery day and for the first two days after the surgery, restarting it on the third post-op day. Please arrive promptly at your scheduled appointment time. If you're running late, please call the center at 703-761-4999. Wear warm, comfortable clothing as the laser suite is quite cool. Do not wear any jewelry from the neck up. Carefully remove all makeup prior to your arrival, and it is best to remove your makeup at least one day before your procedure. Make sure to avoid all colognes, perfumes, or fragrance soaps, and do not use any hairspray. These can all affect the laser function. Please limit food and beverages to a light snack at least one hour before your procedure. Alcohol and medications that may produce drowsiness should be avoided, as well as caffeine. Please bring your consent packet with you on a day of your procedure. Your consent form is found in your folder. This is a very important document and you must read it at home prior to the day of your procedure. Remember to ask the surgeon any and all questions on this document when you arrive at the center. Please arrange to have someone drive you home on the day of your surgery. You will not be able to drive yourself home. It is very important that you follow these guidelines. Otherwise, the exam or the surgery may need to be rescheduled. Okay, now that we've taken care of these items, let's go see our next patient. Hi, Crystal. How are you? I'm Dr. Holzman. Nice to meet you. Feeling good today? I am. And you're ready to go? Excellent. Did the patient counselors go over some of the paperwork with you, the consent process, and all of the, the forms that you need to know that the, the TLC lifetime commitment, was all of that taken care of? Yes. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to go over some important information. Uh, first, we're going to talk about your patient care kit and what's inside of it, and then we're going to talk about the procedure itself. Okay? Yes. Perfect. So let's open up your kit, and this one is the Muro ointment. This is the cream that you've been using every night at bedtime prior to today, correct? Yes. Perfect. That's what we wanted you to do. You're not going to need this after uh, today. No more. So mm -hmm. this, this Muro ointment can be put away. Okay? All right. The next drop in here is Zybrom. This is an anti-inflammatory. You should have started this one yesterday two times daily. You're going to use this two times today and two times tomorrow, and then you can discontinue this drop. All right. One of the things you're going to want to do with all of these drops is shake them before the uh, drop goes in your eye. Okay? And what you're going to also want to do is wait about a minute or two in between these drops so that you're not putting one right in after another because they can wash each other out. So wait a minute or two in between. Okay? 
A lot of patients want to know how to put the drops in, and I think it's important that you understand you don't want to put any pressure on your eye after the surgery. So the best way to put a drop in is to pull down on your cheek and look up and tilt your head back and you'll be able to form a pocket so that you don't have to put any pressure on your eye. Okay, so we just pull down, pull down on your cheek and look up and that's the best way to put a drop in. Okay, the, the next drop in here is the antibiotic and this is called Vigamox. Okay, you should have also started this one yesterday four times a day, did you? Yes. Perfect. Very compliant patient, we love that. You're gonna use this drop every two hours today while you're awake. Tomorrow, you can switch back to four times a day and you're gonna use this drop for an additional six days. So we want you to use the antibiotic for a total of one week. And then you can discontinue this. Okay. Then, we have some lubricant drops. And these are called Cystane. These are over-the-counter drops that, that you can buy without a prescription. The important thing to realize about these drops is that your eyes are going to be dry following LASIK for several months. And the more you use these drops, the better you're going to heal and the better you're going to see. Okay? A good starting point would be to use these uh, lubricant drops every two hours or so for the first several days. And then you can cut back to you know four or five times a day. If you work on a computer screen or if you do a lot of reading, your eyes are going to get drier. So you're going to want to use more of these lubricants. Okay. You can't overdose on these. Okay? We like you to use the preservative-free kind, which are in tiny little vials inside this box, on the first few days because there's no preservatives and they're gentler on your eyes. After the first few days go by, you can switch to the bottle form, which is easier to carry around and keep near your computer and things like that. So use plenty of lubrication drops. Any questions so far? No. There are some sunglasses in here, and we're going to ask that you wear these today on the way out of here. They're for your comfort. They cut down on light sensitivity. They're only for your comfort. You don't have to wear these tomorrow or the next day, but a lot of patients like to wear them for the first few days. Okay. okay? And then we have a pair of goggles. We ask that you sleep in these for the first week. Okay. A lot of people can't make it a whole week because honestly it's a little bit a little bit uncomfortable to sleep with something on your face, but it's important for the first few days at least that you try to wear these goggles. Okay. Try to go a week if you can. If you can't, it's, it's not the end of the world. We don't want you to rub your eye or bump your eye while you're sleeping. Okay. When you get home from the surgery, you're going to want to put all your drops in one at a time, shake them up, okay, wait a minute or two in between, and then take your nap. Okay? You're going to need to take a nap for three hours after the surgery because your eyes are going to burn and tear after the surgery for about three hours. So we really want you to go home, put your drops in, sleep for three hours, and then wake up and start the drops again. Now we're going to move over to some important information. Do you have any questions on your consent paperwork? I do not. Okay. 